Creating lettering and adding it to a design is easy. Click on the Letter tab, open the Font Gallery, scroll through until you find the font you want. Now enter the lettering. Moving from left to right on the ribbon bar, the size the letters will be created is displayed. We can change it if we want, but it should be about the correct size. Next are the options to increase the gap between the letters and to stretch the lettering. Again, let's just take the default settings. Next are the line types. As we want to have a golf club name going around the trophy, I will select circle clockwise. We want the lettering around the trophy, so I just select the trophy, then click apply. If you want to increase or decrease the arc that the letters are placed on, just drag the green marker in or out. Using the same font, let's add Captain 2014. Premier Plus includes a spell checker, and so it has underlined Captain. Right click on the lettering, and then on the context menu, you can see the suggestions of the correct spelling. As I want the Captain wording to be under the trophy in a straight line, I need to select Horizontal Line as the line type. I need to reselect the trophy, but as the golf club lettering is selected, I need to first deselect it by clicking outside the circle. Then select the trophy and click apply. And the lettering is placed centered under the trophy. This is a good point to highlight one of the hidden features of the Premier Plus embroidery system. Auto kerning. Kerning is when you have to adjust the spaces between the letters to make them look correct. If I create the name Tom at the default setting, it all looks good. If I create it again, this time as individual letters, now you can see that the auto kerning has, in the first example, adjusted the spacing and actually pushed the O under the top bar of the T. On our individual example, the letters are evenly spaced, which does not look correct. We can, if we want, select each individual letter and move it. But how much nicer to create it correct in the first place? We can see the auto kerning at work also in our golf shirt design. Looking at the design again, I realise I've put the wrong year. That's no problem. Just select the lettering, right click and select properties. And now you have the chance to change any aspect of the lettering without having to delete it and remake it. But for now, let's just correct the date. Next we can add the captain's name. Choose a nice script font such as Palace. Enter the name. Then select the captain lettering as we want the name below. Finally, let's see how it looks in Life View using one of the sample t-shirts as a background.